Okay, I have an article here that's been emailed to me a few times in the last few days. And uh, there's the headline, of course. It says, Vatican calls on priests to be highly sensitive to climate crisis. Okay, let me scroll down. I'm just going to read a little bit of this because it's just a bit strange as to where he's going with all this. But uh, here it says, uh, the document titled The Gift of Priestly Vocation calls on these Christians to undergo an ecological conversion so their faith in Christ will become evident in their relationship with the world around them. This ecological conversion must be profound and interior, the text states, because being protectors of the environment is not an optional or secondary aspect of our Christian experience. And he goes on a little bit more detail here later, but uh, here it says, uh, this must then be applied to their future priestly ministry, making them promoters of an appropriate care for everything connected to the protection of creation. You know, after reading this, the first thought that came to mind was, you can't get much more paganistic than that. I mean, as we know, pagans worship the sun and moon and the stars. And so it's expected that their modern day spinoffs will follow the lead of those that bowed to Baal thousands of years ago, because prophecy states they will. But what amazes me in all this is how 1.2 billion Catholics still ignore the fact that on one hand, this Pope, like all his predecessors, claimed to be Christian, when in fact, nearly 90% of their doctrine can only be found in pagan rituals. And on the other hand, if the priests coming from the seminaries are really, truly Bible Christians, why does their Pope demand they must put more emphasis on saving the planet than the men, women, and children standing on it? Are we not to share the gospel first and foremost? But this is not the case with this Pope or any Pope for that matter. And the reason is plain. It's because Roman Catholicism is not a Christian religion. If it was, the Pope would be demanding the priests focus on saving the souls instead of saving the soil. I mean, the only reason this Pope is pushing so hard with this is because the cats jumped out of the bag on this one lately. Literally tens of thousands of scientists have confirmed in writing that the planet is not warming at all. This goes against the handful of scientists the Pope has been paying to speak for global warming. Rome knows this, and to hide their blunder, they changed the agenda's title from global warming to just plain climate change. I mean, if you recall, and I've done videos on this, Pope John Paul II spearheaded the global warming fiasco years ago using El Gore to promote it by claiming the planet was warming when in fact it wasn't. And I have an awful lot of proof in regards to this. I mean, if you go to... Uh, uh, this section, you know, prophecy section, go down the Antichrist section and scroll down to where it says climate change and the mark. Uh, like I said, I got three videos. Well, so far, I've got a couple other videos in regards to this that touch on this. But uh, these three are the main ones that I, I like to promote in this regard. Uh, but uh, look at that, the very first thing. One of the things they say, it has to do with CO2 levels causing all sorts of problems. But there's documented evidence that shows CO2 levels have never changed. They're the same as they were back in 1910. Uh, but there are also issues that are causing the planet to convulse, and that has to do with and the bad things mankind does on this planet. But look at that. 31,487 scientists confirm global warming is wrong, and, over, and, and thousands of them have PhDs. But there's all sorts of information on the site as well as links and articles. I got quite a few articles in this section, but uh, down here there's all. I mean, you wouldn't believe some of the crazy excuses, too, that they're coming up with to push the climate change. There's a reason I'm sharing all this, too. I mean, it, it's, it's an amazing amount of data to show that the Pope is lying and he got caught lying. And so he's doing everything he can to backtrack as well as continue the lie. And so now that some in the media don't agree with the Pope and the fact some being offered jobs in the new White House administration don't agree with the Pope either on climate change, this Pope has decided to switch gears and announce to all new priests that instead of evangelizing Christ to the masses, they must now evangelize climate change. But have you noticed the media that is with the Pope aren't really concerned so much with the real reason he's lying. They are doing as expected because their jobs are on the line if they refuse. The media is more concerned with talking points that cause people to argue back and forth about whether or not global warming is true. That prevents them from asking the obvious question. Why is the Pope lying in the first place? That doesn't ever reach the table, but the elephant's standing right there in the room. Why is he constantly pushing bad science when over 30,000 scientists have already proven he's not telling the truth on this? It has to do with the real prophesied reason the Vatican's climate change agenda has come forth. 
And you want to know the reason? Well, check out these videos I've listed here on this page, as well as all the data that's presented on this page. But I will say this in a nutshell. Most that know we are in the last days are wondering how the beast in Rome is going to be able to come up with a global mandate that he can use that will get every nation in bed with him so that enforcing the mark of the beast will become a workable reality. The long prophesied Roman mandate must also be structured in a way that will allow him to go further than just forcing every national leader to bow to his commands, as he just did in Paris. This mandate must also have the power to merge into a global law that forces every citizen on earth to do as the Pope demands. And as expected by students of prophecy, that mandate is climate change. Thank you for watching. God bless.